Well hello again everybody, welcome back and today we have a challenge lock from Dr V on the UK Lock Sport Forum it's a Zoo Mark 5, 5 pin Euro and I have picked this before and it is a lot of fun and I'm dying to see what he's put inside so we can see there's quite a bit of slop in there but it is locked up might as well leave that there get that about there and just using a sparrow short hook and we'll give this a go so we've got to click off one and counter rotation with another little click and we're into a full set already and we'll click off two we'll click off three a little bit of counter rotation click off four with a bit of counter rotation and five a bit of counter rotation and we've got quite a deep full set now so three I'll click with a bit more a little bit more on the full set that was five and we've got a very deep full set that was five again and if I just how's that for a full set you don't often see one that deep So that was three, and that's actually given us a bit more, but we're still not open. I've never come across a lock with a uh, full set that deep before, and it's just a matter of finding what's holding us up so I've got no tension on here at all right just touch five and we've gone even slightly deeper so there's just going to be one of these pins it's just hanging on right that was two and <laughs> we've even gone fractionally deeper now but still not five and there we go so we have no key for this so I'm gonna to have to be careful not to lock it up let's get the vice out of the way a pinning tray in there we go like I say a lot of fun to pick with that deep full set I'm just trying to be careful here because I don't want to lock it up there we go clip off now shim so I imagine there's going to be T-pins in here by the way it felt oh shim went in nicely spin that round a little bit get that to there that should all be fine and there we go so we have threading we can see that there looks like threading in two three and four and we have a little bit of counter sinking on the others by the look of it I don't know if that's original or not so there's one is standard two is a spool 
3 is serrated, 4 is serrated, and 5 is stand, it's got a few marks on it, and I can't see anything else on the core. Shim out and see what we've got up top without wrecking the joint. So that's all serrated, spooly. Then we have very weak springs. There's a stepped T pin in number two, a spool in three, <coughs> and in four, and a spool with a T pin bottom on it in number five. Uh, let's just drop these springs out one at a time just in case. They felt very weak. <coughs> Pins aren't popping out. They all look like they're going to be the same. So there we go, let's give you a quick look at these pins, very nicely done, so lots of feedback from those and a very fun pick. So anyway Dr V, thanks for sending that to me, that was a very enjoyable lock and it does say number one on it i'm sure he's done one before uh, so anyway thanks for watching see you again soon bye